Okay, the last thing we have today is a couple more insects that we're bringing out of the freezer that I've been meaning to pin for some time. And so let's show you what we've got. We have, there they are, these large guys. Let's give you a little bit of contrast. We have a giant beetle, June bug, and she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots. And we think that's a defense because it looks like she has many eyes. This is her underside. You can see her legs have broken off already a little bit. Right here, here, she's just been in the freezer a long time and I didn't pack her up well. Um, but she's still very, very pinnable. So we're gonna do that. And she is large enough that I can just handle her. And again, we wanna go on the right side of the thorax. I wanna make sure my pin is going in straight up and down. You hear a little pop. I'm gonna just push the pin through. Up. Oh, we're losing a little bit of her. Let's make sure that stays. Take that piece off. And I can always glue it back on. Um, she's not a good specimen because she is broken, but for our purposes, when we take to our friends and show off the bug boxes, it's it's perfectly fine for our bug box. I don't mind it when the leg piece comes off. And we're gonna take her now and put her in this little cigar case that we picked up. I go to some stores and get cigar boxes and boxes like this and then put a bit of styrofoam. Now this isn't even the absolute correct styrofoam you need for bug boxes but I use what I have handy. And then when we get the correct stuff, I always move the, the bugs around into the correct case. Okay, next on display is a mud dopper wasp. He is also beautiful. You can see a little bit of that iridescence when I move it in the light. There it is, you see that little iridescent shimmer? And that's the underside. Whoops. And I would love to show you his jaws. Let's see if we can, and the light's not quite right here. But same thing as with others, they have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. The abdomen is where the stinger is, here in the back and the bottom side. And we're gonna go ahead and pin this one. And same thing, number three pin. I could probably use a number two or even a number one on him. Popping it all the way in. There you go. He has nice legs here and if I wanted to stage him, I could stage him um, on the spreading board or in the box. And I'm not too worried about his legs there. Let's stage him a little bit and just pull this leg out and pull that leg out because I like to see their details like that. The wings are closed. We're going to leave the wings closed on that one and then he's going to harden and those legs are going to stay there permanently. Okay, two more really cool pieces to show you, ready? This is a cicada, but it's not just the nymph shell. You could see the cicada came out of the shell and actually cracked open the shell, but he never fully emerged. He didn't make it all the way. Here's the underside, what they look like. And these are the claws they use to come out from underground. It's still very soft. I could feel the soft body in there. Oh, I just dented it a little. And so we're going to go ahead and pin him the same way. See his eyes right there? And they're still in the shell. They're protected in the shell. And so he's also going to get pinned right here. See 
Cicadas are plentiful in Chicago. You could hear them outside right now in July. And we're also gonna put him in the jar, in the bug box right here by that one. And you can see what it looks like when it's partially emerged. The white on that one is a disease that the cicadas are getting. And this is one reason why we think we have 13 year and 17 year cicadas is they're evolving to survive that disease that's killing them, whatever that parasite is or problem. Here is finally an orb weaver spider. It is beautiful colors, browns, you can see that a little bit. And we're gonna put him up here on our stand. And I'm gonna get a number one. I might have a half 